Is it possible to travel for free on the Heathrow Express, the Elizabeth Line and the Piccadilly Line? Well, yes, it is. And we are here today to show you how it's done. Now, there is a particular order to do this so that you use all three modes of train. And the reason for that is because there is a loop on the Piccadilly line which only goes one direction between terminals two and three and terminal four. There's a map on the screen right now. So today we will be starting right here at terminal five where we will take the Heathrow Express to terminals two and three. Then from terminals two and three, we will take the Elizabeth line to terminal four. And from terminal four, we will take the Piccadilly line back to terminals two and three. Now, I have done this before, not for YouTube, but um, out of necessity. And there are ticket machines, certainly at terminal five, within the terminal, where you just press a button and you get a free transit ticket. So we need two of those. You can probably get it at the station as well, so we'll try to have a look. But um, they are a bit sort of hot on security around Heathrow, so we have to be very careful about not filming anything that is sensitive. So that's why we're at this very touristy sign behind us, and it features various airport codes. Can you work out what some of them are? Well, I can certainly see Hong Kong, Bangkok, Madrid, Madrid LHR for Heathrow, Hamburg, Amsterdam, there's, there's, I think, what's that, B-U-E? I'm not sure what that is. Is there Dublin somewhere? There must be a D-U-B somewhere. Rio, well, that's an easy one. I think you see Athens, you see Singapore, Charles de Gaulle. Manchester, M-A-N, or maybe it's just Man. Sydney, <laughs> JFK. But we're not going to any of those destinations today. No, we are staying at Heathrow. And all the travel is absolutely free between the terminals. Very spacious. We're on board the Heathrow Express and we will be taking this one stop from Terminal 5 to Terminals 2 and 3. Uh, these are the tickets that we got out of the machine. So it says free train transfer, not valid for travel to Paddington, not valid on London Underground. Now that's an interesting point because of course part of our free travel will be on the Piccadilly line. So how are we going to do that? We'll explain that part later. It looks like there's a, a toilet on board. Um, hopefully it will be in use, although I do see a red um, lettering that it may be either occupied or something like that. I think that the door might be open, actually. Well, I think I'm going to have a little look at the toilet then, Paul. Well, I think we're about to set off in a minute or two. Paul, what do you think of this? We haven't been on the Heathrow Express for some time. Um... It is quite good, although I think you do have to pay like about £17 or something. 
Yeah, um, it is quite expensive to take into Heathrow, but the journey is only 15 minutes. I think we might be setting off very soon. There are cup holders and there's plugs and quite nice seating, lovely purple. And it's mostly double seating where we are, I think. This train is now ready for departure. These doors are about to close. Please board the train as quickly and safely as possible and stand clear. Doors are now closing. No more boarding, stand clear, please. so it's just as well that we're only going as far as terminals two and three. But look here, if you wanted to sit near the loo, there is a single seat. Terminal 2, there's the sign for the, the trains and we need to get our free ticket again. But I am in need of the loo and it, as it wasn't working on that train, I'm going to use it here at Terminal 2. We need to print. Oh. There you go Paul, take that. Yes, indeed. We are now on the Elizabeth line. Once again, this is your Terminal 4 only service. Next stop this train will be Terminal 4. Yes, exactly what she said. So we have picked up our tickets for free transfer once again, and we are on our way to Terminal 4. sometimes take it from West Drayton into central London or from central London into West Drayton.
gosh, who would have thought it would be so noisy? And sunny. At an airport. Anyway, we have arrived at Terminal 4. Can you see Huzzah. that behind us? Oh, it's behind us somewhere there. Uh, yeah, and from here, we take our final journey back to Terminals 2 and 3, but this one time... One more stop. One more stop to go, but this time we are taking the Piccadilly line. Oh. Now, with it, you don't get one of those tickets mm. for free transfer. You use your contactless ah. or your Oyster. And what happens is, as long as you get out at another Heathrow station, they won't charge you. Exactly. It is free travel because it is free travel on all of the trains and the tubes within Heathrow itself. So that will be the final bit. But I think now we need a coffee because we've been doing so much travel that uh, I think it's time for some coffee. Don't you, Paul? Right, Paul, what have we got here at Costa at Terminal 4? A sausage roll. And a ham and cheese. I'm having an Americano with milk. And what's that? Iced tea. Peach iced tea. Yeah. Mmm. Here we are at Terminal 4 on the Piccadilly line and at the moment it looks as though we've got an entire carriage to ourselves. So this is the loop that we were talking about where it only goes in one direction from Terminal 4 to Terminals 2 and 3. You cannot use the Piccadilly line to go from Terminals 2 and 3 to 4 along this loop. So we'll put it up on the screen now just so you can take a look as to how it actually works. So Paul, would you like to explain how the loop works? So after Hatton Cross, it goes towards Terminal 4 and then it loops around to Terminal 2, 3. And it does not go to Terminal 5 at all. But if you were traveling in from London and you wanted to go to Terminals 2 and 3 or 5, you don't have to go to 4. No. So you can go this way, you see, um, to Terminals 2 and 3 and then to 5. There's different trains. And if you are on a train that goes via Terminal 4, but wanting to get to 2 and 3, just bear in mind that it does sit here for a while. Oh, look, it says, trains may wait for up to eight minutes at Terminal 4 before continuing to Terminals 2 and 3. I love this poster. I used to own one of these. It's Discover London Above the Piccadilly Line, and it shows you the route of the line and all the various places along the way. And look at this, right down here, we get to Heathrow Airport.
So we're on board the Heathrow Express and we will be taking this one stop to terminals two and three. So we have our tickets and, okay. Well, of course, we are very familiar with the Elizabeth line, aren't we, Paul? Because we told them. Sorry to say. Well, so we've arrived. We've arrived at 